searching for the, the church's bathroom. You see a man who indicates that he wants to lock the church. You ask if you can just please quickly use the bathroom. He answers that they don't cater for such needs and you have to leave. You are shocked and disappointed. You really expected more from the church. You... I'm sorry, we have to make, you have to mess up. I, um, you really expected more, so you exit the church and the ice rain hits you in the face. Right next to the church is a bar called Agora. You see the waiter standing outside taking a smoke break. In the time of the Bible, the word Agora meant marketplace. The Agora was the unholy place in contrast to the church that was the holy place. You ask the waiter if he can tell you where you can find the bathroom. He's very friendly and he invites you to use the bathroom inside the bar. The unholy Agora created a space of warmth and comfort for you. Church and Agora. What is the Agora in South Africa? Statistically, there are two very important things. Sport and religion. 79.8% of South Africans describe themselves as religious. The 1995 Rugby World Cup drew 62,000 spectators and the 2010 Soccer World Cup 84,000. So how are we doing in South Africa? Where is the warmth and where does the stranger feel welcome? In the church or at the sports stadium? As a stranger, I visited and observed eight different spaces, four worship and four sports spaces. My research question was how is space created for each other within these different uh, spaces? My working hypothesis was that the way in which we create space for each other can help us in creating a, a model for social cohesion. I thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I see Professor Jackson actually gave you very good directions. You just know, you know that he didn't insert... I took him very seriously. Yes, <laughs> Any questions for Daniel? <laughs> Professor Krinevold? Uh, what kind of theoretical model uh, and which... Sorry, which model, what kind of theoretical model and which variables <coughs> did you use to describe such a cohesion? Trust, uh, cooperation, affiliation, personal well-being and safety was the, the um, different that I, the, the conclusion that I came to. Um, but as I compared the different spaces, what plays out was the different rituals that you could find in the different spaces, um, the different worldviews that was in the different spaces, um, and uh, um, I also looked at embodiment in the different spaces, and I compared that, and as that played out, um, I could create this model for social cohesion. How did you use those generic criteria for team sport versus individual sport? Um, I looked at three different team sports, soccer, rugby and cricket, and then golf as a personal sport. And it was quite interesting to see the difference. Yeah. Which was the same or different? No, it, it was different because um, it was more focused on oneself in the in the in in the individual sport, and um, you know there was no no not really an outreach to people um, without uh, on the outside. But it was also interesting that that in that individual sport, um, as I use space as well, that they um, you were more in the now in the now when you um, you did the, the um, personal sport like the golf. You know you're really in the now. Um, where in the in the um, team sport uh, you reach out to others and you, you do the thing together. You know. Thank you so much, Julian.